In this video, I'm going to show you how to control media servers like Resolume Arena from the Light Shark. Now, this tutorial is going to work with other media servers, and so I'm going to keep the focus mostly on the Light Shark side, but I'll show you everything you need to get basic control with Resolume as well. Let's begin. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start with Resolume, and I want to get it ready for DMX control. When you're working with media servers, a lot of times they're going to allow you to set up your own template for DMX control. And so we're going to be able to match that in the light shark. First thing I'm going to do is just click arena here and go to preferences. And then I'm going to go to DMX. Now I need to first set up what Resolume calls the Lumaverse, which is just an ArtNet DMX input. As you can see, I already have a Lumaverse, but if you don't, because you've just launched the program, then just press New Input here at the bottom. I'm going to make sure that I set my correct wired network control that's connected to the Light Shark. I'm going to make sure that I set the universe that I want. In this case, it's ArtNet Universe 0, Subnet 0 Universe 0. Now, before we actually get to mapping things to our DMX input, I'm just going to go ahead and click this side arrow to be able to see the DMX data coming in to Resolume. I can see right here that I'm getting about two packets a second, which means the Light Shark's transmitting. But here's what we need to do on the Light Shark side to set things up. We're going to go ahead to the menu. I've created a new show already. And then I'm going to go to the settings. Under Network Setup, I want to make sure that my console is set somewhere in the 2.IP address range, and that my computer is also set in that range for the Light Shark control. Now, in this case, I'm controlling the Light Shark and doing Resolume from the same computer. Of course, if you're doing them from different computers, you could set this differently. But the important one here is to make sure the DMX streaming IP is in the 2. Dot range, and then on the DMX setup page, we're going to set it to ArtNet and press Apply. I've left this at the standard reduced rate and it seems to work fine, but if you have any issues, you can always set it to the continuous rate. Once you press apply, you're going to need to reboot the Light Shark if you've made any changes. I already did this, so I'm going to press no and go back to my show. Now, to be able to make sure that we have valid DMX in and begin working inside Resolume, I'm going to go and patch 512 regular channels. So let's go to the menu into patch and then go to add fixtures. This is purely to test. I'm going to go to G for generic and choose one channel LTP or latest takes precedence. This just gives us a simple one channel control that we're able to use. I'm using the mode one channel and in the amount I'm going to hold and then enter 512 so that I have the whole DMX universe patched. Now, because I started a new show here, if I click advanced here, it's going to go to universe one, channel one. But if you're working with an existing show or you're going to be and patching this in where you're already controlling lights from the light shark and you're adding in this media server control, then I would start on a fresh universe and start at start channel one. Just reserve that universe for your media server. That seems to be the best way to go and it's, it keeps you organized. So we've patched those now by pressing patch. And now we can go ahead and work with them. So the very first thing I want to just do is press these channels, the group, and press find. Now I can see inside Resolume here, boom, we've got our input. Okay, so back to Resolume, the next thing that you want to do in order to be controlling things is close out this settings, go to shortcuts, and edit DMX. Okay, now... What you now get to do is you can click anything in the Resolume interface, okay? Like, for example, I've clicked this, this first media. And what you can then do is go ahead and click a clip, for example, right here. Or you can click the layer, and you can begin to assign the Lumaverse, which I've set to 1, Again, that's from the settings in Resolume and the channel that you want to control. Set this up however you want. That's the beauty of a media server is that you can set up the different channels however 
you need. And then you're able to go ahead and control these different channels within the light shark. All right, now I've gone through, and as you can see by the shortcut notations here, I've gone in and I've just right clicked and set DMX shortcuts for all of my different things that I want to control. Again, this is going to be completely how you want to control Resolume based on your show. And so I'm not going to put you into a box here. But now I can see all of my channels right here, my DMX channels, L1 slash C whatever, and what they correspond to. So now what I could do is I can go ahead in the light shark and I can work with them as desired just by adjusting the intensity control. And generally that's going to work well. I can control these individual channels. But if you want to make a custom fixture, it might make your life a lot simpler. So let's go ahead, create another new show. Not going to save. And this time we're going to go ahead to patch and to the fixture editor. I'm going to create a new fixture that's blank. And I see here in Resolume that I've created 10 channels for controlling my show. So I'm going to add 10 channels. I'm going to call it Resolume. You can call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it Mode 1. And then we've got our 10 channels. Now we can add to them. So here we can match up the different attributes available inside of the light shark with what we want to control inside of Resolume. Say, for example, we've got intensity, then intensity control, and then after that we have maybe position. Maybe we're controlling something like, you know, here I'm actually controlling the transform on 7 and 8. So let's actually go to that to seven and eight, and we could call this, um, you know, position. And since it's transform X and Y, we could call it pan and we could call it tilt. Then we could go ahead and for example, channel six is our master. So we can do that as intensity two. And now I'm gonna go ahead and match up the rest of my channels with the light sharks parameters for media servers. All right, so now I've gone ahead and I've synced my controls over in Resolume with this Light Shark profile. So now I can save it and I can go patch it. So we'll go back to Add Fixtures. This time we'll go to the User folder in the brand and then go to R for Resolume, choose my mode and patch it. Now we can see there it's patched to Universe 1 Address 1. And we can see it also appears in our main palettes window. Just one fixture that is in one group. And we've contained all the channels that we mapped in Resolume to the light shark. So I went ahead and I clicked under shortcuts. I was in edit DMX mode, so I got out of that to be able to actually control things. And now we can see, for example, I can get intensity control. I can go ahead and, you know, work with these different attributes that I've set and I see them changing in Resolume. So if I fired something on the second layer, I now have intensity control over that second layer on my output. Similarly, the position, the pan tilt, I had gone ahead and mapped it um, to this transform of the effect on this monkey alien. And so now you can see those numbers changing, the effect changing as I move the pan and tilt. Similarly, Gobo is selecting different patterns. Um, that's actually the alien one. And then pattern two is get, just selected that anthropod. And so um, really when it comes to controlling a media server in the light shark, the sky's the limit. But I hope you can see from this short demo that you're able to take DMX out via a network from Artnet, from the Light Shark, straight into your media server, and be able to control your clips, which you can then program in, in sync with your lighting, to be able to get a unified control.
I hope you've enjoyed this and we'll be sharing some more videos about controlling things with the light shark soon. Do us a favor if you have enjoyed these videos and be sure to subscribe here on YouTube so you get the latest things from us.